Hello guys, this is Karima Ale, welcome back to my YouTube channel and in today's tutorial we are going to design a simple photo code for social media and that means we are going to design something that can fit on all platforms. Make sure to switch back your illustrator, sit back well and then let's begin. I will start by creating a new project or go to file new and then I'm going to choose web and I'm going to name my project for the code and I choose centimeters as my measurements and I consider you guys to use 30 for both width and height and I read my artboard as one and we can go ahead and create our new project they're going to give me this canvas and what I do I'm going to drag this image we are going to deal with and uh, I will press embed just to fit the colors for from both image and canvas and I go ahead and create this shape like this and I want it to be in black what I'm going to do next I'm going to make a gradient of this shape I will drag this fill on this gradient slide and uh, I don't want this and if you want to duplicate this you can press alt, hold the alt key and then duplicate and I, I want pure black and that means I'm going to delete this also by clicking on it it will appears in active mode yeah and this is it on the stride and I'm going to reduce the opacity of this to 20 what I do next I will rotate this gradient by holding shift key and my mouse just to make it on the right side I'm going to increase it like this I'm, I'm going to press Z and Alt to zoom out what I want I want this image on this side and let's reduce the opacity of this one let's make it 15 and then press enter as you can see I can see both sides but we have this uh, blemish right here and what I do I create the other shape and choose pure black by going to swatches and I press right click arrange and send to back it's going to click this and we are going to fix this in a few I will go ahead and add some text on this poster I go here let me select ctrl c and we are going to use ITC avant-garde on this one I create a text box and press ctrl v and I'm going to choose this in white I go ahead and search for ITC yep I think I need this and I go to type yeah, they are already in caps rock and what I do I'm going to press ctrl 8 just to select her and increase my size I'm going to increase the wording size like this And I go to paragraph and switch this hypernet. The hypernet, they are this one. These are hypernations. And when you don't need it, you go to paragraph and switch them off. And they appear like this. And I go ahead and put this back. Add this back to. I'm just correcting some wording arrangement here and I'm going to put it down like this and what I do next I just go to my type 2 and they're going to add a full uh, 
quotation mark which will recreate this and uh, I want it in Franklin Gothic sorry yeah rec a heavy one and I'm going to go to object and expand this I go to object expand and I'm going to turn this into shape it will be like this or go ahead to swatches and choose caro and I'm going to resize it like this bring it here we go ahead and create a small line here like this I go ahead and uh, choose stroke a white stroke it will be like two I hold my shift key just to increase it a little bit and uh, before you continue I want I want to rock this I'm going to just to select or go to object and then rock the selection just to deal with this without disturbing the other background images. I will go ahead and select this and I'm going to align it at the top. Vertical alignment. How about if you increase this one like to this level? Let's push it down a little bit. You have to play around with your concept. And I'm going to align it to the center with this. Push this to the front. I'm going also to add the name of Mr. President. Or again I go ahead and pick white and I'm going to turn this into uh, title cases like this I'm going to select this text and then choose Frank Green, no ITC Avangad, and I go ahead and search for regular one, which is this one. And we're going to reduce the size to this level. And let's set this line back by holding shift, selecting one anchor point, holding shift, and it will be like this. And uh, let's align this to the right. Yeah, as you can see, they, they are fitting on the right side. And we need to increase it a little bit. Right here. Let's go ahead and add a small text here that we stand for this photo quote I press hashtag hero holder write this and I go ahead go to type and change this to title case and I'm going to remove the white and add a gray color here Yeah, let's be, let it be like this and I have to make sure this is in caps this can type uppercase like this let's add 26 zoom out and the next good thing you are going to run you are going to run how to cut this background let me first resize my gradient 
Reckon this way. And also this way. And let's do like this. And I'm going to cut all the outside uh, edges of the image. But let's first push this a little bit to the right. And we are going to increase it a little bit again. Let it be like this. As you can see, I'm having a sharp run here. But to fix that, let me first select this, go to object and then work selection. You can also press Ctrl 2 or Command 2 to work the selection. And I'm going to add this shape. I'm going to add this shape like this and I choose it to be black and I go ahead to my effect still rise no sorry I go to my effect and then Gaussian blur I press preview just to view right there you can leave it at 8.3 and I'm going to increase it to this side and rest fast, select this one and I'm going to hold shift to unselect the the grad, the Gaussian, the broad shape and, to, and it will look like this and I'm going to go ahead and uh, press right quick, arrange, bring to front the way to do also the same thing here, you can press also like this shortcut, shift control press, cross bracket, and then you can re bring it to front. I'm going to press shift and also deselect the gradient thingy. And we, it will look like this. We are going to press control R2 or command R2 or go to object and unlock all right the shortcut i'm saying is this one i press art control 2 and then it's going to unlock all i will go ahead and drag one of these logos they are going to drag it to the other side this one is for yeah as you can see i'm going i'm not going to use blue i will choose uh just this white one only and i'm going to resize it and i'm going to resize it like this and we are going to align it to the right you can use it here let's go to object unlock or and the good thing we are going to do again we are going to cut the background, like the outside edges of the image. I'm going to select right the real sizes of canvas. And when you want to cut the outside edges, you just select both everything by selecting or press right click and then make a creeping mask and then you can do like this double click just to peel it at the edge yeah and here we are this is our final concept of an image but we can also play around with image and change the position of the logo by holding that key and shift I will duplicate the image and when you want to bring back the background uh, images you can press right click arrange and no right click and release creeping mask it will look like this and you can add different logos like let's add this one over here Yeah, it can look like this and then select all but you have to make sure you choose your creeping mask shape 
put it back and make sure it is in front right selector make a creeping mask or you can go ahead duplicate rear re creeping mask let's delete this one you can press the rogue to the right side let's go ahead and select this drag it here and I'm going to duplicate this rogue over here and drop them and I want this let's delete this let's put this into Bracara and I'm going to increase this shape can go ahead and create something like this you can press shift x just to stroke your shape and press right click arrange bring to front and then you can select your shape and feel you can put it down a little bit and and let's go ahead and create a creeping mask like this you can also do one quick while you are on shape as you know we have our 30 uh, canvas here on both width, width and height and i bring it here but to be safe you have to increase it a little bit and then select or make creeping mask like this these are different concepts you can do double quick inside and resize your rogue break in the way you want. Thank you guys for watching and I hope you learned something and make sure to do subscribe for the upcoming courses for both uh, digital paint and graphic design. Feel the odds.